Russian defense minister decorates pilots for downing U.S. drone. Here's a summary of the article. Authenticate users, apply security measures, and prevent spam and abuse, and if you do not want us and our partners to use cookies and personal data for these additional purposes, click Reject All. If you would like to customize your choices, click Manage Privacy Settings. You can change your choices at any time by clicking on the Privacy Dashboard links on our sites and apps. This post received a score of 37,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Idiot failed at his attempt to spray drone with fuel and clipped it. Russian incompetence on display daily. The real prize was not getting killed in the process. Or not destroying a $30 million fighter jet. It may still be damaged. It's definitely damaged. The question is how badly. The real question is, more or less damaged than it was to begin with? We're using drones to buff it out now? Percussion maintenance. This is how we deal with things on Russian space station. Components, American components, Russian components, all made in Taiwan. But they said they did nothing. Is being Russian synonymous with being truth phobic? Greater than lately, I was suddenly struck by the thought that in Russia, among our educated classes, there cannot be even one man who wouldn't be addicted to lying. This is precisely because among us even quite honest people may be lying. I am certain that in other nations, in the overwhelming majority of them, only scoundrels are lying. They are lying for the sake of material gain, that is, with directly criminal intent. Well, in our case, even the most esteemed people may be lying for no reason at all. Fyodor Dostoevsky, A Writer's Diary, published 1873-1881. Just here to supplement that with goggles dead souls in a book full of scheming assholes and miserable cunts, the biggest asshole, Nozdryev, behaves exactly like how the state of Russia acts on the world stage, lying and cheating in your face, while knowing that you know very well he is lying and cheating, but also knowing that he can lie and cheat faster than any decent human can respond and address it. Franyo, you watch Perrin? If not I'll find his video on that subject, it's worth watching. Edit. Here it is. That it is. Prepare yourself for the best one hour YouTube PowerPoint you will ever watch. Then repeat for the rest of his catalog. Lately I've been craving to learn something not entirely practical, like I want some knowledge in my brain but I don't want to have to apply it. Anyways this is absolutely perfect, can't wait to binge his videos in my spare time. Thank you. I know you said, not entirely practical, rather than just, not practical, but you and others reading this shouldn't sell this kind of thing short. If you have a better grasp of what is going on in the world beyond just a surface understanding, you will better understand and contribute to those discussions and improve your critical thinking skills along the way. Parroting the narrative that, ha ha, the orcs are dumb and incompetent, is in many ways a lazy mental shortcut that leads to bad habits. Understanding how the culture of lying and corruption embodied in the Russian word has led to the pervasiveness of incompetence and bad decision-making in the Russian military is something else, even if that is only a one-hour YouTube video's worth, rather than a full university degree on Russian sociology. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.